You know what I'm saying? So spirituality is individuality. You're understanding all your dual, na your dual natures, your masculine and feminine from yourself. And the better you know how to do it with yourself, you know how to do it outside of you. Because we created the world from the inside out. So you could be a person that's just truly yourself with totally opposite characteristics to someone else. In the spirit world, it's equilibrium, not a polarized. Personalities and characteristics are polarized. Those are the opposite. But in the spirit world, when you act closer to that, right, there's other things that play out in forms that the, uh, that the pilot senses tingle that matters just as much. So when you're just yourself, that plays out in the spirit world of what we all supposed to do. Just be yourself. When you're yourself more than others, it don't matter what zodiac, chakras, and body organs you're in expressing. And the character may be very opposite to someone else. That person will still get jealous because you're being more of yourself than them. Or you would attract more people who give you more support because you are yourself more than them. Because you remind them of how they should be. So, you see what I'm saying? So, that's how it works. Always find the equilibrium energies. And the equilibrium energies always bend in and become the dual energies down here. But when you understand where it comes from, you understand before it become dual. So, you understand your internal dual and your percentage or footprints in the sand and how you participate add to the universe as it spreads out and expands. You know, you add your dual natures, but the more you know how to deal with yours, you express it in a more balanced way of how the world is created. Teamwork makes the dream work. So it's balanced by default because all of us is here. And it, so it cancel each other out. And that thing in between become each point of space work because two things come together to create an energy. And then the energy itself become that point of reference out of that space and that space be inside of it to be aware of what's around it. And now the spirit is a soul inside of it. And it has a form that could condense and be an experience in this world and things of that nature. So that's when we get cancel out, cancelings out. That's how we get on a macro scale, sun and moon and on a physical form down here. Everything is friction, fusion, and pressure. So you get lighter density interacting with a heavier one. It cancel each other out. Boom. Inside, you get that lighter version of it. Macro, sun and moon, micro, you and me. That's just like even down to the, the sperm cell and the egg cell. It cancel each other out. None of those, it, those are just forms. It take both of those to make the body, to make a to make an organ. These are how we know how to make organs. Thank you so much for the donation, Myra. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Because a lot of y'all might get confused too much into Christianity and stuff like that. So when you're not a Christian no more, you add that faulty knowledge and then you attach the word spirit to things because that's just like calling yeah water is a tree and we were trying to explain water but since water visible we don't have to do that but y'all got that western hemisphere brain so y'all do that with the invisible and think y'all doing something so yeah yeah spirit is breath yeah spirit is this. no these are just examples that people was trying to point to that represent the unseen you know what i'm saying no so the spirit is this no the spirit is the spirit that's it. Just like the water is water, the tree is the tree. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, the spirit take forms, but the spirit make mind, and the mind bend in and become adrenaline when you build an accumulation in it. And then adrenaline is blood and cells and things of that nature. So as a spirit, we know how to make minds, and with the body, we know how to make organs. So as a spirit, you have to be in a certain space and start developing thoughts and feelings there. Once you develop a whole bunch of thoughts and feelings, that's pregnant, that womb is pregnant as a mind and it becomes flesh, fluid. Now, that fluid is adrenaline and it becomes more blood and things of that nature. And then the more blood, it becomes tissue. Now, you have certain magic tricks you can do that depending on what you're trying to bring here into existence. All the way down as a spirit, if you're down into your lower areas, you put more thought and feeling where you create the root chakra thoughts and feelings and then for the most part that bend in and become adrenaline and become the fleshly fluid of a sperm cell or egg cell you know what i'm saying then when a man and woman have sex those two things could come together and create the organ system of another body now that's not necessarily saying there's a spirit in that yet because spirits take many forms 
just like blood cells. So all that together is a collection of blood cells. So maybe many spirits in there. It's not necessarily saying all those spirits or one of them is getting ready to be the champion. All of that is Greek, stupid Egypt knowledge. That's retarded. Everything go with it. Everything. Why do you think you got many? You got a heart, lungs, all this. Uh, it's a whole mechanism. Not no one thing because y'all lost in look who's honey, look who's talking movie. And you think it's some you think it's like that, and then you mix it with Christianity, and you think that's the spirit, yet you know that's dead blood cells. Keyword, dead blood cells. The spirit, the space give flesh life. Just moving it. This is death. The mind and the body is death. You know what I'm saying? The spirit gives it life. So the mind is just a representation of the spirit. So the mind is just a representation of life, but it has an expiration date too. So this is why y'all be clinging on to the mind so much and that y'all don't want to get rid of. And now y'all got these organs that now y'all don't like, but y'all still scared to death. So y'all walk in contradictions as spirits because y'all forget how y'all got here and created it. Y'all let people tell y'all y'all don't know everything. Yet you hear. How, how did you know how to make your body and come out your mama's ass? Your mother didn't do all that and stuff like that. Same way your mother ain't control her blood cells and her heart and her lungs. Same way you ain't. So you got spirits that take care of that and you got spirits that take care of the main thing. You the spirit that took care of the main thing. So you built your heart and your brain. It's, your mother ain't jump inside her body and say, hey, you got to put your heart right here. You got to put your brain right there. No, you did that. Y'all work together as a team, but you had awarenesses that's beyond what the shadow government trying to make you think awarenesses is. Because they make you think the brain and, and the pineal gland with the chakra that made it, the, the crown chakra and the first eye, third eye chakra, they make y'all think of, of being aware through things when your spirit is up there is most important. So when your spirit jump in, into this area and start to be aware of those chakras and use the organs that those chakras made, it'd be other things going on with your other intuitions, your other minds, your other chakras and your other organs that you always jump into up here to try to figure out what's going on with those. And you never could truly figure out. And every time the shadow government give you all more exoteric knowledge about them going as this will make you get illuminated because you don't know how to enlighten yourself. So you be needing your brain. And your crown and first eye chakra to understand what's going on with your other brains, your other organs and your other chakras that made them. And that's dumb where, you know, you got a gut feeling, you know, you got a heart. You know, you, you know, you got all those. But if, if, but the word scientific and a person who want to sound illiterate, if, uh, find that word on Google to be a fake Google scholar. And then that becomes the discussion other than. When we're not having that discussion, you know, you feel different in different areas that the mind and the way you be aware of things there sometimes don't always give all the answers. And you be needing you be needing those other feelings. And sometimes you be in a situation and your other in intuition, chakras and organs and gut feelings and, and heart be telling you one thing. But you so lost into the comfortability of the shadow government, you'd be like, oh, but logically, oh, but this, this, now you back up here, and then a situation will play out that proved the other intuitions right, and then you gotta be like, damn, I should've listened to my, that, that voice, or that gut feeling, or something like that, yeah, that's them teaching you, this one is more important than the other ones, and during that situation, you went up to that one, to figure out what's going on with the other ones, so that one clouded your judgment of the full scenario of the situation, because as a spirit, you was blinded by only these lights, and the lights been in. And, and those organs, those brains, because the shadow government taught you that. Your father taught you that. Not my father. They taught y'all that bullshit. <laughs> Yet ain't no school for this. Yet Uriel is known and been doing this for uh, for this long. And the shadow government ain't trying to reward it or put me in no school or nothing like that. They're haters then. If I got to do it by myself, which I'm doing it by myself, but this is how I think in my brain. If I got to do it by myself, you a hater. Because I can see if, if I was somebody um, who just came out the blue a few months ago or yesterday. And I can see if I was somebody who like you know, was in a wheelchair or something like that, but still acting like. It's an excuse or something like that. I, I didn't raise above all mental forms and things of that nature. So if the shadow government 
still looking at that as an extreme negative in some type of way, you're haters then. And you're like just a, and you're a human at that. It's a, a stupid human trait. So that's how I look at it. I look at these Jews, Jesuits, and and Masons as haters. Because I know if I was in a position and I seen me, I seen something like Uriel online. Oh, no, nah, you got to be next to uh, uh, Queen England or Princess England, whatever her name is and stuff. Like, got to. Y'all saying some way, shape, or form. It wouldn't even be that deep. It'd be beyond finding somebody like me. It'd be me trying to just reward people that's using intelligence online. If, if I made online for me to sit back to see what society is at right now to figure out new laws and stuff, I, my mind is just a good natured mind. I don't what how is that a bad idea on any level? How, how does that not motivate people to go to school? So I don't even like watching the news channel and I'm complaining about, oh, the economy is this and the, the grade point average is low in this city. I don't want to hear none of that because y'all not even all the way down to credit, credit cards. I think people who prove to the government for whatever deadline that a government was set up, let's say nine months, if, if you could pay for your your actual necessities for nine months, then you deserve a free credit card because we see that you take the responsibility of paying for your regular bills. You know what I'm saying? Why it ain't like that? Everybody will want to get any kind of job just to show the government that they can pay for their regular bills. If you could get a free credit card and, and get in the game like the regular world, you know what I'm saying? But they don't even reward that. Listen, it's like stupid. They they it's like the richer get richer, the poor get poor, but not the cliche way, the the way it's supposed to be seen where people like that don't get free credit cards and stuff like that but yet they water bill go up and down i experienced it water bill go up and down based on something stupid they got to fix the streets that it take about nine months for them to fix with some cheap tar that get ready to break soon as winter time come again it, it's like it's so retarded it make you feel like the position you in they're not even helping you and you're doing the right thing nine to five making sure your bills get paid and still trying to eat and put clothes on your back and take care of your responsibilities uh, of things that you don't need. Also, you want to enjoy these things, too. And you see all these type of scammers and lawyers in the world and stuff like that. Don't even got those problems. And then just for you to turn around on the news tomorrow, they tell you the tr they trying to give you trash cans. So that's why the water bill going up. And then you already doing things the right way. It's like, dang, they don't give you no break. They be trying to switch your insurances and stuff like this, man. They, they man, they, they ain't right. It ain't right. They know how to keep people down. They know how to keep. So I, I look at the rich keep, get richer and the poor keep, get uh keep the poor poor like that. I look at it like that. I don't look. I don't look at nothing cliche. I like to look at why something being said. I don't like to just be saying stuff because it sound good. Because I'm the first person that like to not say stuff. That's especially stupid stuff. I don't even waste time. I don't waste two seconds on dumbness. But where I, but but what I do do is I'm unbiased also, so I'm able to see where it's actually at, and I, I see where that let the richer get richer and the poor get poorer actually at. They don't even give assistance to people who doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? All the way to the point that you probably a little upper class in the suburbs, but you only got two to three vacations out of the year because of the job you got. So the job, the, the job you got to even live in that kind of condition and take care of your kids or something like that in that type of neighborhood and environment, you're producing a product for the world. You, your vessel is the money. So that takes a lot. Of, they got to take a lot of hours from people like you and a lot of your mind to the point that they give so much news channels and narratives and stuff and newspapers and the stuff that you probably into being this kind, kind of person. They give you conveniences to make you feel like this is life and mechanisms in your brain to subconsciously enjoy these things so you will find yourself turning down one or two of your four vacations out of the whole year because you miss work and any every time you off you work become family and stuff like this is how deep they get y'all they get y'all in their world their life you're their kids their family and the moment you want to go have your own record label or corporation or something like that get ready for some secret re recall charge where 
the things you have to do to even participate in their world that they want you to do by default get you a RICO charge. Then just for you to get out of it because you're trying to take what you get accumulated from it and get the fuck on, get ghosts, disappear, they don't allow you to do it. They're like, oh, you trying to switch up now? Oh, you don't want to give us your cornbread no more? Oh, you don't want us to give us give you no drunken hug no more? We can't drunk hug you from the back no more and wiggle our balls on your butt cheeks no more while you sagging no more. Oh, okay, we see how you we see how this is. Assassinate your character. They were straight assassinate your character. To the point that you doing anything to get out of that assassination. Just add fuel to the fire. It don't matter what you do. You can give a thousand turkeys like New Jack City. Uh, it don't matter. They didn't put so much blemishes on your light. Something wrong with that. People going to think you gave a thousand turkeys like New Jack City because you don't want to be seen this way no more. You don't want so anything you do is going to add more fuel to the fire. It's like, damn, you can't even get out of it now. And that's how the shadow government do, y'all. They don't care. Oh, they just bored butt buddies with money. Bored butt buddies with money. That's a that's a dangerous combo right there. That's a dangerous recipe. That's a day. A lot of y'all need to. Uh, a lot of y'all are uh, uh, not Cheddar Bob's, but but uh, 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 what's the other one? The one off Grand Theft Auto Three. A lot of y'all need to go ahead and get a PlayStation and play the game. Try to beat it as best as possible. Not just because it's a video game, and I'm telling you to play video games. Pay attention to the story. Grand Theft Auto Three for PlayStation. That's America, period. Period. What's homeboy name? Not Cheddar Bob. Chick Cheddar. I don't know. He he was the snitch dude in that. I forgot his name. You know I said, but the whole little story all the way to the end and the the dude eating. Uh, uh. See, a lot of y'all ain't probably played Grand Theft Auto, so I'm probably uh, who who played Grand Theft Auto three in here and actually beat it. I'm taking a lot of people back to uh. That ain't really childhood though. Y'all you know said I was his. I was his last. Like, cause it was just like yesterday, though. That was, that, that was just like yesterday. Grand, Grand Theft Auto Three. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, 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 the, 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 the what's the homeboy? Not, not, not y'all new version, Gay Tony dude, but the the dude that the Gay Tony based off of, the the first dude, that one. That's the one I beat. I ain't beat the the new PlayStation G Gay Tony one. I, I don't. I can't even really get in on the Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? I, I gave it up. I, I give it up at uh, San Andreas. But the Grand Theft Auto 3. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Claude. Yeah. Now, look. Now, check this out. Now, if if you played that, you know. at the You meet the dude who be eating people. He a cannibal. But it was normal. Like, that is, it's a thing. And it was based in New York. You know what I'm saying? But it's a thing. The mafia is the government. You see what I'm saying? And for the most part, uh, uh, thank you so, much, thank you so much for the uh, uh, donation, Peter. Oh, I appreciate that for the bomb. Oh, yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, pardon me. You know what I'm talking about. And for the most part, once you start doing the missions for for homeboy, right? You you start making more money, but at that point, the missions you be doing is like spooky. Like you go rescue homeboy. You be thinking it's a drug mission and shit, and it's homeboy yoga teacher. Like, some stuff like we do, like Sad Guru. So, like, when you see Sad Guru and stuff, now you starting to see. Because Sad Guru was interviewed at UNESCO. It, Grand Theft Auto 3 had that play. Like, you go the dude deep in the game, in a government game, you got to go save dude. And you be thinking you're going to save a drug thing because you be doing all those other missions for the triad. But when you meet this dude, you go save his, his yoga teacher, his spiritual teacher dude. Then they go get ghosts. You, they start making you think he gay or something like that. They're gay or whatever. They, they get ghosts. Because it's, it's a mission I did. You go back. You make the money. But they be gone. But he tell you to come back. But they be gone. Him him and the, uh, the yoga dude. And he was eating people and stuff like that. And then now you got to go like protect the uh, the police. That the, that was uh, selling all of the drugs. The fake drugs that you, uh, uh, you had to go clean up. In New York and stuff like that. For the other mafia. And the, the police that was in on it, they they start cracking down on him. You got to start doing his missions and stuff like that. But that that's the government. That all that's Abrahamic religion. Cam cannibalism is a normal thing to them. 
and that yoga and that spiritual stuff and those witchcraft and rituals and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You, you thinking you playing a video game, man. They, te they teach you about where they where you think they get the idea from. Well, you think they just sitting around like, oh, this would be a good idea. Man, no, man. You ain't even allowed to make a, a certain amount of money if you ain't tapped in. They type of construct. That's why it be killing me when people be sitting around voting for Trump and thinking thinking about Trump like Trump is against the government or something like that. That's their puppet for that narrative. So that's someone that's with them to play that for the category of people who think like that in the world to push a certain other to push other narratives that ain't even got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? For an example, they're trying to push the whole world to be Republicans right now. Because there's certain energies that they're trying to do that got something to do with conservatism. That ain't even got nothing to do with the energies they get ready to make y'all be aware of to make y'all be in vote spirit. So you might think that don't make no sense. Biden is the president. Man, listen, they you know ain't nobody voted for Biden. So if Biden the president, that lets you know it's all to the plan. We know Biden was old. They know how we was reacting and responding online and they know how many people who was wet by Trump. So and, and during that time, what what better way the, the amount of energy we gave to Biden? They looking at it like what better way to make people, even the Democrats, even the people who was in that energy and the mom and pop stores and the soccer moms and stuff. Even even they will get tired of Democrats if we go ahead and put Biden here again. This is how they look at it. See what I'm saying? So that's why they put Biden there again. So right now you're in a world of everybody, even the Democrat in urban areas, have thoughts of trying to make sense out of their conversations at work and in their living rooms and stuff about why it's better to vote for Republican or conservative, regardless if they like Trump or not. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a psyop. It's a psyop. It's like I don't know why y'all ain't able to see that though. I be thinking sometimes people too old not to see that. You can't be in your 50s right now, 60s right now, and you don't see that. But being in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, I could kind of see why you see it that way, though. But it's like we in 2023, though. Like, like we really, in, like, it's too much non-analyzing before they present their narratives for us not to see as stupid. Like, they're not even smart in a way of even doing it. So, it's like, it's up to the people to take their power back. But you got to get together. Like, you can't be in no energy where it's like, y'all still trying to do y'all isolated thing. Because cause that was what they made normal for y'all. Y'all just giving them wiggle room. For y'all to still, but I, I need to stop talking like that though, because the world ain't gonna change on that energy either. 